Victims of one of history's most notoriously brutal regimes are overwhelmed by the life sentences handed to its most senior surviving leaders. Nguyen Chia, second only to Pol Pot in the Khmer Rouge regime, and Q Sam Porn, the head of state, were found guilty on Thursday of crimes against humanity. The pair had been tried for forced evacuations and the mass execution of Lonnol soldiers at a crime site in Pasat province in the first of a series of mini-trials. It's been more than three decades since the Khmer Rouge killed some 1.7 million Cambodians, and the road to this verdict has been frustratingly slow and marred by court controversies. The chamber sentences the accused Nun Chi to life imprisonment. The chamber sentences the accused Q Samporn to life imprisonment. It is difficult. Uh, as long uh, as it has, time has passed to actually prosecute these cases, you know, to find witnesses that can still uh, remember clearly what happened. M many wit wit uh, witnesses have died already. Um, um, and also, you know, being under constant scrutiny, I think everyone in this court feels that they, they are not only in a court of law, but in a court of public opinion. And I think a great number of people feel relief that the we've managed to get to this point because I think there were many, many doomsday predictions that we would never reach a judgment in case two. And yet now we are here. Uh, so I think it's, it's a relief not only for the victims, but also for all the people that have been working very, very hard on these cases. But while victims at the court greeted Thursday's sentence overwhelmingly with relief, out in this former stronghold of the regime, reactions were decidedly more ambiguous. ไอ้ปากกัดกระไดมั้ยนี่เวซ้อมสรอบไว้เว้ยบ่ยิงเคยจังนะนะยิงเคยอ่ามูลแฮดบอกกากัดกระไดนั้นคือโยตังปีเอ